right, that takes us into our first uh, video of the evening. Yes. Uh, we're gonna since we just talked about space and trannies and genders, we're gonna we're yeah. gonna get in. This is where I realized Neil deGrasse Tyson is uh, a Zionist shill. <laughs> I was gonna say he's <laughs> despite his intellect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, right. There's yeah. this creepy thing that if you want to work in media. Yeah. Right. And if you want to be a part of academia and be seen as an intellect. You have to abide by the gender ideology. Oh yeah, strictly. Well, dude, because I, because he, like I said, fifteen years ago, I'm pretty sure he was beloved by everybody. Now he's basically exposed as like, I guarantee you, he's a part, a part of some sort of Masonic order, hundred percent. Right. Yes, I agree. Because he's good on his astrophysics, but then is completely closed-minded on everything else, trashes people, and then has to go along with the establishment ideas on gender yeah. and all this stuff and won't break from it and yeah. it's completely insane i mean i could watch him talk about space it is i mean he's just he is captivating when he talks about space yeah however like stay in your own lane then when you hear him talk about gender ideology then you're like oh my god yeah this guy is and they're all just like literally talking on their ass being like yeah. well gender's fluid and yeah. we don't know yeah. and here's and, bill and nye I, with the mannequin and i sit there and i go can he really believe this or is he so um is he so trapped politically that he has to believe this? That's why I'm saying. So he this, can this still is, have his career. I, it, it's financial definitely is a big element. I also think being a part of a secret society, sort of Masonic type order. Yeah. Like you've took that vow. Well, he and, wants, and if you and if you break that vow, they will destroy your life every way possible. You will lose your finances. You'll lose your credibility. All your prestige. Everything will be thrown out the fucking window. I agree, and I think he wants to be the TV scientist guy. Yeah, you know he wants to be. But the funny Mr. thing, Mr. Space. The funny thing is, like I said, fifteen years ago, mostly beloved, but I would say by one hundred percent of people. Right, but that now was before he, now, the gender stuff blew right, up. Right now, so. it's probably the only people that like him now are oblivious to everything besides his space program. If, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, he's he's insufferable on every other topic. Yeah. So to, look, we're gonna to a huge degree, and the part that annoys me is he attacks other scientists with uh, d uh, dissenting views on other subjects or that come up with new evidence. He's like, well, it's not peer-reviewed, so I, I, I'm going to just dismiss it and shit. It, that, that, that annoys me because there's a lot of avenues of research mm -hmm. that uh, scientists and historians and other people could go down and find a treasure trove of information, but they've been completely closed off from it via their own biases or the fact that they're paid off. I don't know what it is, but it annoys me, but seriously. Well, let's check out this clip. Um, he does this little inter this interview with these guys. I don't, I'm not that familiar with them, but they argue about gender. So Yeah, they, I see that the clip was said trigonometry. I've, I've, heard of, I've heard the name before. I've never watched their uh, show. Though. Of your functions over time has been to communicate scientific knowledge to the public. Yeah. And that's why I was quite surprised to hear you talk about the idea that we all exist on a spectrum where you wake up one day okay, and well, you feel like... One second. I'll let it play longer, but... To be this person that is a science communicator that's supposed to speak on behalf of science as if it's some sort of god yeah. is a terrible idea to begin with. Well, what, especially that, especially when science and academia is so specialized. Didn't you didn't know, Fauci it's insane. say about the vaccines during the pandemic that if you're questioning me, you are questioning yeah, you're, science. Yeah, you're questioning the science. Yeah. And and Tyson is the same thing as I am the science. Yeah. That's the problem these, with these, these intellects is they think that they are infallible. Yeah, these know? these intellectuals have they go off. No, we should rule by consensus. Yeah. We have a body of say five to twelve people that sit in a round table, mm. and we decide what you should think, what you should do, and you don't question our authority. And that's that's complete bullshit. Yeah. Let's see what he's got to say. But yeah, I, right. like I've said before, I have a very hard time buying if someone as smart as he is. Yeah, he actually I, believes I agree. In this nonsense. You, you couldn't get to this level yeah. and then believe nonsense that a six-year-old kid be like you're silly why even yeah. you know what i mean yeah. you're more female and more male the xxxy chromosomes are insufficient because i hate when he does that he does this Ooh. a lot the xxy chromosomes Ooh. are he does that a lot it drives me nuts that's also too when you, when people are bullshitting you yeah like, you'll notice this, like, White House press secretaries, they always talk like this. Yeah. And they always do this acceleration of their voice. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. That's when someone's lying and bullshitting you. Always listen for that because someone's going, da, da, da. Yeah. Da, da. they're lying to you. Or they don't know what they're talking about 100% all the time. All right, so we'll shut the fuck up. Yeah. We don't want to keep right, interrupting. Right, exactly. Yeah. Because when we wake up in the morning, we 
exaggerate whatever feature we want to portray the gender of our choice. No, we don't. I don't get up. I don't get up. <laughs> what? It makes it literally makes no sense. It's so stupid. I've, this is this is like a dumb ass lived out feminist retard talking point. This is I what get it up, is. Oh, where's my axe? I yeah. need to chop wood. Actually, no, dude. In all reality, my gender changes when I go to bed at night. Oh yeah. And I put up my cameras and I jerk off for like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, That's definitely. when I become a girl. Yeah. You know. Put on a wig, with some put lipstick. On, uh, yeah. That's why I shave my head. Wigs could fit a lot better. Right. Now, absolutely. Because. You know? That's why, because I become a woman, a woman, a woman. <laughs> I become a woman <laughs> at night. <laughs> you know, I, I, I got to see you in the mirror putting on lipstick. And you're like, I'd fuck me. Yeah, I'd fuck. Me. I'd fuck me, dude. I said this is consensus. <laughs> I said this on the previous clip that everyone knows that I'm a beautiful woman, right, yeah, and everyone no, would want to fuck me. I know. I, I agree with you, buddy. We're in total. Thank agree you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's ask Tyson or Neil deGrasse. Do you think he's related to Tyson Chicken? <laughs> related or yeah. into it? Like. Both. <laughs> I think he. I think he's related to chicken. Yeah, I think so chicken. too. <laughs> okay. Suppose no matter my chromosomes, today I feel eighty percent female, twenty so percent male. I'm gonna. Forecast. I'm gonna put on makeup. This is, this oh, is yeah. a weather, So you just wake up as a weather forecast. Well, there's a twenty percent chance of male. And... <laughs> he, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, push this bullshit, get wear a fucking dress, you bitch. Yeah. Put on yeah, lipstick. Yeah. Suck some dick. I'm not even joking. I'll Dude. respect you then, because I'm gonna be cloudy with a chance of hermaphrodite today. Yeah, right. Uh huh. <laughs> People, lo I love her hermaphrodites. I got, I got. I know. We know. I got. I got legit magazines where it's real deal woman, woman with a huge dick, but it's a vagina. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. This one. What's that thing you always say? Hard, it could be uh, a hard dick is uh, like a, a small t -girl clip. Soft dick is like a real guy's hard dick. There. Okay. There thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank Sorry. you. Up. I'm gonna do that. Um, tomorrow I might feel 80% male. I'll remove the makeup and I'll wear a muscle shirt. Why well, do you here's care? Because uh, people are asexual. So you then you have no sexuality. So what are you, just an invisible being one day sometimes? I, I can't so, remember if they get into it in this argument, but I've seen another thing with Neil where they talk about, I think, and actually, I think it is this clip now that I'm thinking of it. Okay. Uh, so I apologize if I'm bringing this up prematurely, but. They talk about sports, mm. and he goes, "What? What does it matter if women are involved in men's sports?" And <laughs> that really exposes him. Yeah, the... like I said, like we said before, he's really smart about fucking space. Yeah, planets. But it's like and he's shit. still at heart a stupid nerd. Yeah. who doesn't understand sports? Yeah, who's ever watched sports? And can't fathom why women wouldn't belong in yeah, sports. Yeah, because a so. stupid nerd has never played yeah. sports or any sort of physical contact or had an, a contact with a woman because you realize if I push this girl too hard, I can kill her. There's too you know many I mean? dweebs in media. Yeah. Like that, what was that guy on Rogan? Uh, Adam. Oh, yeah. Adam that, ruins that everything. Yeah. And they argued about women's sports. And he clearly has never watched football, right. basketball. Yeah. And he's sitting there talking about, well, we make the rules on sports and that's why it's unfair for women and that's why it yeah right. we can make it we could level the playing field it's like yeah have you ever watched football yeah right have you ever watched brutal well, dude, men and, and, tackling into exactly. each other dummy this is this is not even to, to trash women and say there's not talented female athletes no, that's not, there no. are there's great females at everything but no female could take a hit from a 350 pound linebacker yeah. Yeah. you would literally kill them yeah and that's why when you when they get to that in this debate um you sit there and you go, how can he be so smart on space, but he doesn't know the just, obvious just about... Just ignorant on just the most blatant, right, obvious about sports. shit. Or you see, because then you see when guys that transition and start taking hormones, become female, they do UFC yeah. and pulverize these women and mm. bust their faces up and stuff. It's, it's just like... Nerds. Insane, insane nerds, nerds. Nerds and theater kids have taken over. They really we're have. all fucked. Yeah, right, we are. For real. Yeah, I agree. What 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 business it is it of yours to require that I fulfill your inability to think of gender on a spectrum? My only point was that if who you decide is male and female 
in the street. By the way, that that may work when you're like in a in one of those domes where you're talking about the constellations. Yeah, right. That, uh-huh. that wacky way he's talking. Yeah, yeah. But when you're talking about anything else, it does not. I know. Work. It's actually distracting. Right, yeah. It, think of, this is so theatrical. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's like talking. you're just he's a fool- theater kid. Yeah, you're fooling yeah. people by your theater kid yeah. antics by going. Woo, yeah, if you're talking woo, about, um, woo, you know. Space, yeah, that yeah, might it be, makes sense because you yeah. gotta point out to point out stars, yeah. but not like gender. You, you're like, Ooh. yeah, that's like this is this is like this is a magician's trick, yeah, exactly. You know? Is a construct of 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 style okay, and also too, trends. I, I hate that we I'm um, people get pissed at we're interrupting so much. He he knows he's bullshitting himself. You can just see it in his eyes. He's like, I, I don't. I know he doesn't truly believe this. I hope so. You know, I don't know for real. And what the beauty industrial complex wants you to see? The beauty industrial. If that's complex. how we establish gender, then maybe some people want to be fluid within that okay, gender. Okay, pause this for a second. This, this is pissing me. So he'll talk about the beauty industrial complex, but he won't speak upon the military industrial complex. I doubt that highly. They're the real threat, is the beauty <laughs> yeah, industrial the beauty, complex. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that drop the bombs on different countries and kill people, right? The oh beauty industrial complex. My God, that's the dumbest three words I've ever heard in my life. 